Welcome to the first episode of Voice of Uyghur. China Virus China Virus is a biochemical and financial war and terror. This virus was created by China and China Virus is fully China's fault. China was and still is intentionally hiding the real amount of China Virus cases in China. The Chinese government is not taking care of the situation in China. For example, Xi Jinping allowed Wuhan residents to leave the city without checking for the virus. China must pay for all financial damages, losses of human casualties, and bear the moral responsibility of damages caused to the world. Some people think that using the term China virus is racist. Surprisingly, even some Uyghurs say that too. How is this racist? If this is racist, then why did no one think the name of the 1918 Spanish flu was racist? If we want to talk about who is racist, we should talk about China. China is killing millions of Uyghurs and Tibetans. They are committing genocide against Uyghurs and Tibetans, and millions of Uyghurs are in concentration camps. Some Chinese are even posting things wishing that Japan had the most cases of China virus, wishing that all the Japanese died. Isn't this racist? People say we shouldn't use the term China virus. Why? China created this virus and spread it. Why shouldn't we call it China virus? Why China is a threat? Like we said in the beginning, China virus is a biochemical and financial war and terror. China wants to take over the world and the China virus gives them the opportunity to do so. China virus is also making economies around the world fall and this helps their plan to take over the world. China wants to be the world's number one leading power and wants to replace the US. For example, as former National Security Advisor James Jones said, I'm not sure that we really understand the degree to which China is strategically intent on replacing the U.S. as the most dominant culture in the world. We cannot allow China to pass the United States as the number one leading power or else the world is in great danger. If we don't act on this now, in the near future, China will control 5G and technology, China will control aerospace and satellites, China will control medicine, and China will control the companies. We will get to a point where the U.S. national security is not secure. What does this mean for China occupied East Turkestan? First, let me tell you what is already happening in East Turkestan. Millions of Uyghurs are locked up in concentration camps, being tortured, killed, raped. The Chinese are harvesting their organs. Uyghur women are forced to marry Chinese men. There are surveillance cameras watching every move an Uyghur makes. In general, China is trying to wipe out the Uyghur population in China-occupied East Turkestan. After the pandemic, China is transferring Uyghurs to China, China virus-infected cities in China to force them to do free labor. There are still millions of Uyghurs in concentration camps and those camps are especially vulnerable to contagious disease due to how cramped it is and the lack of personal space. The Chinese authorities' reaction to the pandemic is causing hunger and panic even outside of the concentration camps. East Turkestan people were forced into staying in quarantine without preparation so they have no access to food or medical care. For these reasons, America must stand up against China. China is not only killing Uyghurs, but also created this virus and this huge pandemic that is killing many people worldwide. You can even look at the history of China. China used to be very poor. They were so unbelievably poor that they ate their own children from how low their food supply was. They even ate the soles of their shoes and boiled their belts and drank it. It is very hard to believe what I am saying, but if you want to learn more about this, research China's history within a hundred years ago. America and Europe made China rich. Every time you buy a product made in China, 
you are helping your economy. If we don't stand up now, people around the world might see what's, what East Turkestan and Tibet have been seeing. I know we are late, but we are not too late to stop China's long-term goal of taking over the world. If you support this, please don't hesitate to comment below. By the way, I am Attila Uyghur. And I am Etahan Uyghur. And this is our little brother, Bilgahan Uyghur. Hi.